Hey guys, what's up? It's a video with you, and uh, today I'm so sorry I couldn't do the Friday video. Um, and uh, I just I lost like all my views and everything. I'm, I'm so mad. And uh, I haven't been in front of this camera in a really long time. It's so weird. Like I used to be, you know, in it and everything. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not. Well, I haven't been in front of the camera lately. Anyways, so, uh, obviously you clicked on this video, so that's what we're going to talk about. Not the title of the video, we're going to talk about the subject of the title, which is, um, how to start a tower take from scratch part one. Well, I just have to start a tower take from scratch part one. just part one of this video. Anyway, so, you're, uh, uh, you're, um, sorry. You're walking around. And you're just like, hey, I want to talk about this thing. Yeah, great show. Um, cool. You go up with that. Hold on, let me just play with it. Hold on, let me do that again, too. Hey, Joe, I'm starting to talk thing. You are? Yeah, yeah. You must be crazy. I do those things really, really hard to do. Yeah, no, I'm ready for a challenge. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do some research and then I'll, uh, I'll look at that in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that's what it, that's what it should, uh, it should it should look like. And then, um, so what you need to do is decide: do I want a fish-only tank or do I want an actual coral you can run or blow it out with SPF corals. So, um, so say you want, you, you kind of want to blow it out with SPF corals, but you want to start out slow. Start out with fish only, and after eight months, maybe add a few L e easy to take care of LPS corals, like green star polyps and stuff. Um, but not, you can't add other stuff until you're a little bit more experienced. So, then after you do that, you're gonna go on the internet and you're gonna do some research about the tank and you're, and you're gonna find out, whoa, this tank is going to be really hard to take care of. When I have my clothes, I'm gonna have to dose calcium, alkaline B, iodine, magnesium, and the, you know, not all those things, but you know, mostly just calcium and alkalinity. But you know, there's some things you're gonna have to dose depending on what your tank uh, tank needs uh, consist of. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, wow, this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to have this fancy lighting that's gonna cost me 300 bucks. And, um, you know, I'm gonna have to have uh, this really high flow with this filtration. And I'm gonna have to do water changes and a whole bunch of maintenance. And this is going to be really expensive. And yes, all of that is true. But the end reward is great. You get this. <laughs> no, I'm uh, Yeah, you, you can get whatever you make, man. Uh, I guess this is just what I made. So here's a quick peek. All right, so that was my creation. That's pretty cool. And um, yeah. So um, after you have, you have decided you need to pick out a tank. And when you're picking out a tank, you need you you know you you have a budget, right? Well, buy the tank that is going to be most expensive for you. The biggest one you can possibly get. Like, 
if you can buy something max of like 1200 gallons, get it. Because whatever you can afford, you can buy. Even if you're not going to have the money for anything within like a month, still buy the thing. This is what I'm having to do. I'm purchasing a 150 gallon tank because I now have money for it. And I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to have to wait a month before I buy my next thing, like the skimmer. And I'm going to wait another month. So in four months, I don't have enough stuff to get a tank ready. Which is my lighting, which are, I'm going to do two 400 watt metal halide, 20,000 K for Calvin. Uh, pictures hanging over the tank. Um, well, actually not hanging over. It's going to sit in the canopy. I'm going to have uh, t T-Pack light. And just sitting on top of my two 400 watt metal highlight, 20,000 K full. Um, anyways. Yeah, and then my pumps, I'm going to have uh, Vortec MP40s, uh, or one Vortec MP40 wireless, and um, uh, gigantic propane skimmer that I found. And, um, and then the lab rock and stuff, and then I put water in the tank. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm trying to go you guys. So, if you pick out a tank, you're going to go back to your friend Joe and you're going to say, Hey Joe, I found a lot of stuff about this thing. And it is a lot more complicated than I actually thought it was going to be. And uh, I, I I don't know what to say. Me neither, dude. Because all I know is that you are going to work constantly to keep this tank looking nice. You bet I am. You know, I always thought that having a fish tank or something, when you walk into somebody's house and see it, it's like, you know, I haven't seen much saltwater tanks. Yeah, man. But when you, when I walk into somebody's house and I see a saltwater tank like this, I go, whoa, look at that tank. And, you know, I ask a whole bunch of questions and stuff about it. Hey, it feels good. Yeah, you know, that would feel good. Alright, I'm going to go do some more research and then I think I'm going to go buy a tank. Rock on with that bro. You bet I will. Peace. Peace. You see? And then that's what the next thing should look like. So then you're gonna go back to your computer, you're gonna do a little more research. <coughs> and um, you know, try to pick out a tank. And say you're gonna pick out a 150 gallon tank. So yes, I'm gonna get this 150 gallon tank. You gotta find a place to put it. How about in the living room? The living room sounds nice. I'll go put it in the living room. So you find a good spot in the living room, measure it out, and bam, it's going to go in the living room. And the next day, you're going to buy this tank. And uh, it's you, it's going to be awesome and everything. You're going to stand the canopy, and uh, then you're just going to sit there for a month. So then you're going to go talk to your parents, and uh, this is what they're what's going to look like. Hey, Mom, Dad, I, I'm going to go buy, or your, or your wife, sorry. Hey, Mom, Dad, or wife, I'm going to go buy, uh, I'm going to go over to the store, uh, my local store, and I'm, I'm going to purchase this 150 gallon tank. You are? Yeah, you dang right I am. I want, I want a salt water tank, Mom. It, it, it's like been like my dream forever. Hmm, how come I'm just finding out about this? That does not matter, Mom. I'm going to the store right now and I'm gonna buy this tank. You better do a little more research. Aside for the these tanks, they need so much work. Alright, alright, but can I still buy the tank tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Peace. Peace. Alright? So, that's what it should look like. Um, so we can do a little more research and you find out that all fish can't go together with corals. Some are going to be more aggressive and you know, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah. So you're going to do find out that. You're going to go buy your tank. And then, there you go. That's the first part of starting a solar tank from scratch. First part, I just taught you. Now you know. And uh, you might be wondering, like when I was first starting a solar tank, I was wondering how much salt made how many cups of salt makes one gallon of seawater. You know, some of those stuff I was wondering about, and I was wondering about stuff like, I remember even I'm looking back at some of my favorites. I mean, this was two years ago. And, um, no, it was two or three years ago. I forget. Um, 
and I was like, I, I, would, I would go to websites and, and uh, find the lights, I'd be like, okay, done, done, like a list of everything I need, and then at Christmas I'd expect to get all these things, and you know, I didn't, but I look back at my favorites, and I, I just picked, I just looked at the bulbs, I didn't even look at the fixtures, it's like, what? Even if I got that light, it's like, what the heck, it's just a fixture, it's not a, I mean, it's just a bulb, what am I going to connect it into, so no wonder I was, I was coming out so cheap, so, um, yeah, but don't worry about that. We'll get to the later stuff. I'll cover everything that you possibly will need to know in a saltwater tank and um, in, the, in these part series. And uh, so this is just the first part, basic, easy part, easiest part of setting up a saltwater tank. So prepare yourself for the next part. And go buy yourself that tank if you're looking at getting a saltwater tank because they can be so much fun and I've really enjoyed mine. So I hope if you get one, you follow my steps too, and you'll have a great tank. Or at least they're not like mine. Um, so yeah, follow me along. And uh, tomorrow, we're getting my new tank. So that will be pretty cool. So that's going to be the first part of setting up my salt, my new saltwater tank from scratch. It's going to be my third saltwater tank. The first one, it was a saltwater tank about 29 gallons probably. And uh, this is my second tank, and I'm getting the 150 gallon tank, and it's going to be amazing. And I'm so pumped. So, uh, yeah, I'm just teaching you guys everything. And uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is so that I can get a more familiarity or whatever you call it with uh, starting a solar tank. Because I haven't actually started one. You know, sometimes starting it can be the hardest part. So I'm just walking you guys through it. It helps me too. So, yeah. That's so all you need to know. Remember, I will tell you everything that you need to know. Um, so don't go online and research and stuff. I mean, you can if you want to. It's great. Buy some books. Great. I totally recommend it. But just to let you know, um, I will teach you. I'm mean, if you did, would you um, enjoy your tanks, um, love your tank, and peace. <laughs> all right, Jack. That was great.